in our school year, there are so many things our professor has done for us. Our VC, Professor Hilary Dogger, he has done a lot for us. Even here in the farming, he made it easy for us to be able to get water so that we can water our farm all the time. Yeah, it's not easy. Water is the most important thing that helps the crops to grow. And it makes the road accessible for us. Like we have the campus, the Moeru campus bus, who help us to be able to reach where we are going to, whether the hostel or the college, wherever we are going to. And the school environment is very, very fantastic. Our professor has already, he has done a lot for us at VC. He has done a wonderful job for us that we didn't even expect. And we are very grateful. He has, he has helped us so that we will be able so that when, so whatever we are doing, we put more effort because we know that, yes, somebody is there who is aspiring and who is there to encourage us. We also have many libraries, our classroom, they are well equipped, even the laboratories and so on. We have a lot to say. There are many, many has done. Uh, the administration of my admirable vice chancellor, Professor Hilary Edoga, has really done a lot. Uh, there are too numerous for me to mention. Within his first year in office, he built 10 world-class hostel blocks with steady light and water supply by judicious use of internally generated revenue, IGR, renovated the old dilapidated hostels which were built long ago when the university was a college of agriculture. Today, the hostels are wearing a modern look with state-of-the-art hostel facilities to the admiration of students and parents. In the hostel, we've been enjoying a lot of benefits around here, starting from the security. We don't really experience a lot of um, challenges from cultists or bad people invading the community. We just enjoy ourselves around here. Then we always have water supply and the plumbing system is wonderful. We come back every time to meet water, we have water to our dispensation and we use it whenever we feel like. And then we also have electricity all the time. We enjoy it and um, among others. As Professor Edoga's visionary leadership progressively attracted more courses to the university, the students' population grew in leaps and bounds, thereby resulting to more students' accommodation need. The Icon Administrator facilitated completion of the NDDC hostel, which was abandoned for years. This drastically reduced the accommodation challenges and to meet the future need of the ever-increasing students occasioned by the rapid expansion of Muayu. Under his tenure, Professor Hilary Odoga started building additional six modern hostels. One of the challenges students faced was poor transportation system to attend lectures from within and outside the campus. This hydra-headed problem is today a theme of the past as the administration of Professor Edoga eased the transportation situation as students can even move around up to midnight at almost no cost. Um, with respect to the transportation issues, it has not been easy trekking from one place in the school to another, from one lecture hall to the other. But since the advent of the shuttles provided by our Vice Chancellor, Professor Hilary Udo Edoga, it has been made better for us to move from one place to another. And no matter the time we come out, we always find the means to move around from one place to another without having problems. And we've gotten this at no cost because we just pay only our accommodation fees and with the bus permit we have the access to all the buses to move around in the school. His administration acquired and deployed fleets of cars and buses to achieve this feat. They include 40 Suzuki cars and five 30-seater quota buses for intra-campus shuttle, 15 Kia and 10 Hyundai cars for inter-campus shuttle. The students have had the opportunity of running their affairs by themselves. We only guide them, we only give them appropriate instructions whenever they are needed. We, the university does not interfere, interfere with the running of SVG. You know that in most universities that is what causes most of the problems. When the administration begins to meddle with student affairs, that's with students' uh, union and student politics, trying to say what will happen and what will not happen. But here, the vice chancellor has always been uh, 
has always maintained the fact that students should be allowed to run their systems, to run their union, and to do that which they should do. In terms of creating conducive environment for learning, the Dogger's dynamic administration has bequeathed to the university an e-library with about 1,000 seating capacity with fully air-conditioned modern structure. More U classrooms are today installed with interactive whiteboards and e-learning platform which makes it possible for students to receive lectures from anywhere, especially general courses, provided the student is connected to the internet. The e-learning platform also avails more U students of the opportunity to participate in lectures from its collaborating universities. This and the establishment of more U portal which enables students to pay school fees, check their results, register courses, and verify their results online and other internet facilities gained the university a position among the 10 best universities in Nigeria with ICT presence by NUC and TED Fund. But this is only federal university where every classroom has the white interactive uh, uh, internet board for teaching. This is the only university in the country, especially federal university. And I'm not surprised because this is the only university where we are now trying to make sure that everything we are doing here is ICT driven. Is it admission? Is it a grading of result? Compilation of result? You could see that even our post UTME is the fastest. We had our post UTME examination in less than three hours. The results were out in the net. You don't, not 24, I mean in less than 12 hours. The students were already assessing the results. So because of that, and many others, of course, you can see that even the students browse easily when they are walking on the road. And we are still fighting to make sure we get there so that there will be no basis for our students saying they are living here for University of London or going to universities in Asia or university in Ghana, university in America. Because it's a, you can be in America and be delivering lecture in America and our students receiving the lecture in our board using the ICT internet. So that's where we are trying to bridge the gap in knowledge and be part of the global village. Not only that. That will uh, reduce capital flight because what Nigerian government lose as a result of people uh, uh, taking money to go and pay for uh, uh, knowledge outside the country is enormous. It's in billions of uh, dollars. And if such fund is within the country, we'll be better off. Especially now, the money is no more there because of the oil economy. That is not all. The installation of functional streetlights and beautification of the university's landscape with ornamental flowers and trees, with gardens that boast of seat outs, have encouraged students to study in groups at night and under streetlights. This is made possible by Edoga's administrative measures that have eliminated cultism and guaranteed 24 hour security within the walls of the university. I find it very comfortable to stay under this light because here yeah, we enjoy here yeah, for joy free air. Naturally, we don't like going inside the class this evening because there is a lot of security. Anytime we finish reading here, we can easily go to our hostel. The least we provide the free bus for us, we can go straight to our lodge and stay. So that's why we prefer to stay here. His administration also procured communication gadgets, bomb detective devices, and patrol van for security, as well as training and retraining of security personnel locally and internationally. Of great importance is the sustained awareness creation of the need for all in Muayu to be security conscious. Also, the construction of internal roads in the university 
make for quick response to any security alarm. Um, if you look at the area of uh, light networking, if you come here in the night, you visualize the beauty of this place. The solar system is working in the night. This place is better admired in night than in the daytime. When you come in night, it looks like a small London. That Professor Hilary Edelgar for you. These are all his, he, all, he gathered all his experiences, put them together, put in his life, put in everything, okay, to make sure that he delivers and he has already delivered. The constructed internal roads include Aguin Runti Road, Long Tennis Court to Awolowo Road, Placid and Joku Road, Professor Charles Saludo Road, access to Alex Ikweme Building Admin Block. Vesis Road, Staff Club Access Road, Dora Akunyili Road, Access Road to New Hostel, Hostel Roads, Konas and CC Access Road to Fish Farm, Fish Farm to Central Science Lab Road, Seat to Agui Runti Road, Student Affairs to Thomas Aquinas Road, Emeka Omero Road, Library Road, and Achebe Road. Professor Hilary Odo Edoga has recorded a gargantuan achievement in the area of staff welfare during his tenure. They include the conversion of over 200 staff of the university to permanent staff, which has greatly increased productivity. His administration has ensured payment of accumulated arrears of responsibility allowance to deserving staff with effects from 2009. Edoga's administration has undertaken approvals and sponsorships of staff training and retraining, especially outside the country. I'm a beneficiary of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund Academic Staff Training and Development 2015. I got admission for University of Reading to study law and management. And it is in the administration of Professor Hilary Odo Edoga that the Tertiary Fund was awarded to me. I'm very grateful and thankful for this opportunity which I promise to utilize positively for the development of the university. I was awarded the Ted Founder Scholarship in 2012 for a master's program at the University of Surrey in the United Kingdom. It was made possible by Professor Hilary Edoga, and I owe all gratitude to him for that opportunity. Thank you. I benefited from Ted Fund 2012-2013 academic session to do a one-year master's at Queen's University, Belfast. I studied environmental engineering. I appreciate the vice chancellor, Professor Hilary Dogger, for, uh, for according me this opportunity. So far, hundreds of staff have been sponsored to some African, USA, Asian, and European countries to attend short trainings, workshops, conferences, and studies. The administration acquired 11 brand new Toyota Corolla 2014 model for the deans of the university, 6 brand new Corolla for the council members, and pool vehicles for all principal officers of the university and HELOX as project vehicles to different directorates. You see, uh, Professor Edoga to me is not just a vice chancellor is he's a phenomenon. He's an institution. Edoga as a vice chancellor is a star. I say this without any fear of contradiction. And what do I mean? Professor Edoga has done for Igbo land what we expect a patriot to do. Professor Edoga has added to the future of the posterity of the Igbo nation through the educational sector. 